Hello and welcome to Panda Studio NZ. In this video we're going to look at Panasonic's CO2 hot water heat system which is powered by Panasonic heat pumps, giving you a much more efficient and eco-friendly way to heat your water, saving you money and contributing to a more sustainable planet. First, let's take a look at how a heat pump works. Traditionally, your heat pump system will often comprise of an indoor unit, an outdoor unit, and refrigerant piping. Heat is gathered by your outdoor unit through a heat exchanger and transferred to the indoor unit where it is delivered into your house. The hot water system works in basically the same way with a few minor differences. The CO2 heat pump is placed on the outside of your house, same as before. Then you have the hot water tank, which is connected to the heat pump via hot water pipes and can be installed either inside or outside the house. The heat pump collects heat from the ambient air same as before, but transfers this heat within the CO2 unit and into the water pipes, which is then transferred into the hot water tank until the water is needed. Hot water heating has many names, terms and applications. Unfortunately, there is no industry standard yet as it is new territory for the industry. Panasonic have another system called the Aquaria Air to Water System, which provides space heating such as underfloor and radiator heating, as well as hot water heating. But for today's video, we're going to focus solely on the CO2 hot water heat pump, which is for domestic hot water heating only. Let's take a closer look at the CO2 heat pump system. First of all, the CO2 gas specifically used in the system is called R744, which has a GWP or global warming potential of one. In comparison to other commonly used gases, R290 gas has a GWP of 3. R32, which is used in traditional air-to-air -air heat pumps, has a GWP of 675. And R410A gas, which is used on all commercial systems, has a GWP of 2088. The outdoor unit itself has its refrigerant sealed inside. This heats the water which is then transferred to a hot water cylinder. This means that you do not have to be a refrigerant specialist to install one of these units. The system is able to achieve a high COP of 5.19, which makes it one of the highest efficiency refrigerants available for water heating. Rated at 6.5 kilowatts of heat output means you get faster heating as well. The outdoor unit also operates at 37 decibels, which in noise terms is somewhere between a whisper and a library if you can imagine a library where people are quietly reading and learning. As I mentioned before, the water tank itself can be installed either outside or inside, which gives you some flexibility for your install. And it can save up to 80% on your hot water bill, compared to a traditional electric heated system, which is amazing. The full kit is sold with a reclaimed 250 litre water tank and a controller. On the controller, there are six modes that you need to be aware of. Continuous, which is between 37 and 59 degrees. The way that this works is it measures the water temperature at the bottom of the tank, and when that temperature gets down to 37 degrees, it turns on the heating until it reaches 59 degrees. Hours off-peak, which is on between 10 p.m. and 7 a.m. only. Six hours off-peak, which is on between 12 a.m. and 6 a.m. only. And six hours daytime, which is on between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. You can also set up two independent timers that are of your choice and a one-shot boost button which turns on the heater until it reaches 59 degrees. So, how does a hot water heat pump work? Firstly, the tank is installed like any regular tank in your house. This means that cold water enters at the bottom of the tank, which is the same as a normal hot water cylinder. The CO2 unit then pulls cold water from the bottom of the tank. The compressor then pulls the heat from the ambient air temperature and concentrates it into heat energy into the CO2 refrigerant, which is then transferred to the water. The outdoor unit then pumps this hot water back into the top of your hot water cylinder. The controller continuously measures the temperature from the bottom of the tank and repeats the cycle until the cylinder probe reaches 59 degrees Celsius. Water can then be taken from the top of the tank where it's at its hottest and delivered to your home. So here are the key takeaways from the Panasonic hot water heat pump system. You have a flexible install due to the nature of the indoor outdoor tank, a GWP of one which makes it great for the environment and it's highly efficient and extremely quiet. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you do have any additional questions, please contact your local Panasonic rep or check us out online at panasonic.com.